Hello students, today we'll discuss circles. This is a calculator set. Let's start with question one. In the figure A is the center of the circle. The measure of angle RAS is 74 degrees. So let's draw that. This angle is 74 degrees. And the measure of angle RTB is 28. This angle is 28 degrees. What is the measure of minor arc BR? Minor arc BR would basically mean angle BAR. So this is X that we have to find, okay? So the interesting thing is that we notice that AR and AS are the radii, right? AR is equal to AS, and that's the radius of the circle. So angle ARS and angle ASR need to be equal. And since they, together with 74, are the angles in a triangle, we can say, uh, let angle ARS and ASR be Y. So 2Y plus 74. Uh, is equal to 180. So 2y is equal to 6106. So y is 53. So each of these angles is 53 degrees. Now we see that in this triangle ART, in triangle ART, Angle RAB is the external angle, right? RAB is the external angle. And what do we know about the external angle? External angle is the sum of interior opposite angles, right? So what are the interior opposite angles for angle RAB? That will be uh, angle ART and angle R T A, which is 53 plus 28, which is 81, right? So we find that ang angle R A B is 81 degrees, and that's exactly what the minor of B R measures. And so my answer is 81. Let's go to question two. Circle T has a circumference of 12 pi inches. So this has a circumference of 12 pi. We can write this as two pi r is 12 pi. So r is six. The radius of the circle is six. Segment xy is a diameter. If the measure of angle TXZ, TXZ is 60, so this angle is 60, what is the length of segment XZ? Now, since XY is the diameter, we know that the length of XY is going to be 12 because radius is 6. We also know that angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees, so we know that angle XZY is 90. And so this becomes a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Now in a 30, 60, 90 triangle, we can use trigonometry to find the length of um, XZ. So XZ will be, if we use sine 30, then sine 30 will be X, XZ divided by XY, right? Because sine 30 would be opposite by hypotenuse. So that will be xz divided by xy. And the value of sine 30 is half is equal to xz divided by, now we know xy is 12. So xz will be 6. So the length of xz is 6.
let's go to question three. The figure depicts half a circle with radius r is equal to 10 inches, right? Uh, so this is like a semicircle with AD as the diameter. So let's quickly draw the center O here and the radius OD and OA is 10 inches. Points B and C divide the semicircle into three equal arcs, right? what is the area of the shaded portion? So basically they're saying that arc AB is equal to arc BC is equal to arc CD, BC here. Okay, then we basically have to find the area of triangle ABC plus this little shaded arc. Now, if I draw OB and OC, I can see that triangle OBC will have the same area as triangle ABC because they have the same base BC and they have the same height, which is the height of triangle OBC which, and also the height of triangle ABC. So area of triangle ABC is the same as area of triangle OBC. And so the entire shaded area, which means the area of the gray portion is basically, so the gray portion is basically the area of sector um, OBC, right? Because that will include that blue shaded area as well. Now, how do I find the sector area? I know that each of these angles is the same. So I know that this is 60 degrees, right? And since this is 60 degrees, I know that this will be an equilateral triangle with side length equal to the radius. And so the area of that sector will be 60 by 360 into 2 pi r, rather pi r squared. Right? So that would be 1 by 6 into pi and radius we already saw was 10 into 100. So that comes to 50 pi by 3. So the area of the shaded portion is 50 pi by 3 units.